Mr. Andy Haniri lamented the neglect of Ogba Zoo and Nature Park 18 months after the huge devastation at the zoo and nature park by flood allegedly caused by the construction of side drains along Oko Ogba Road by Centraco, a firm engaged by the state government. Mr. Andy Haniri, who commended the Edo State Governor Comrade Adams Oshomole for awarding the contract of the reconstruction of Airport Road and Oko Ogba Road, said Centraco's slow pace of work allowed heaps of sand and debris from the excavation of side drains in front of the zoo. He said, though the management of the zoo and residents of Ogba community endured the hardship during the period of the Oko Ogba Road construction, but on 6 November 2012, there was heavy rainfall and the accompanying ravishing flood swept the heap of sand, latrite and debris into the zoo, destroying and breaching fence, wildlife enclosures, lawn, walkways, foodstuff, animal field and property belonging to staff of the zoo. All the flood waters from as far as the uh, airport, they all surged into the zoo. It can only be described as a tsunami. The luck was that it happened at about 7 p.m. in the evening, so visitors were not around. It was a four-foot surge. It carried huge slabs, the size of gutter slabs, into the zoo. The director and chief executive of Ogba Zoo and Nature Park said all attempts to get government attention to compare Setraco to pay restitution and compensate for the damage done to Ogba Zoo failed to yield dividends. He said a series of letters on the issue was sent to relevant authorities, including His Royal Majesty Yomono Banedo or Baere Diawa, who intervened and a meeting between the management of Centraco, Ogba Zoo, and the Dose Minister of Environment was initiated by the Commissioner Prince Clem Agba. Mr. Aniri said the panel set up by government to look into the situation and damage done to the zoo by Setraco is yet to make his report public. Since then, it has been letters after letters and appeals to the governor, to Setraco, to make amends, to make restitution for the serious disaster which has set the zoo back more than five years. If we didn't source funds running into the millions to bring back the zoo, the zoo might as well have remained closed these last 18 months. And in those states, we have no zoo. This is a zoo that students come from as far as Bayesa State, Delta State, Ondo State. Some stakeholders, including a representative of Ogbaneki Youth Association, corroborated the allegations of the management of Ogba Zoo and Nature Park. Such disaster has implicating effects, effects that are very, very dangerous to the animal's health, one, two, to the recreational and ecotourism potentials of the zoo. We protested to government house and to the House of Assembly in respect of the flood and still yet nothing has been done about it because Setraco during the construction of the road made many mistakes and flood entered into the zoo and even to the neighboring uh, houses around the zoo and flood took over the, the whole place. While reacting to the allegation that Centraco failed to be responsive to the plight of the traumatized animals at the Ogba Zoo and massive damage done to the Ogba Zoo and Nature Park by flood owing to the company's construction work, the Edo State Commissioner for Environment, Prince Clemagba, said the management of Centraco denied being responsible for the problem at the zoo. It rained and the place got flooded and they are attributing it to the construction work. And the construction company is saying, well, we are two kilometers away from, from the zoo. So our work could not have caused the flooding. In fact, one of the reasons for, for the contract is to take care of the flooding uh, uh, problem. Uh, like you know, a lot of other areas that same day when the rain were flooded, where there's no construction uh, work. So this apparently from what the contractor has said, is an act of God. Mr. Handy Aniri said he invested hugely to revamp Ogba Zoo and Nature Park, a heritage site in Edo State. Ego Sagbonao reporting.